Kevin Hart's gone from like cool comedian to like self help guru, and I don't like it. I don't trust you when you start giving me self help advice. Yeah. When you start to tell me to hustle harder, got that hustle heart. I just think to myself, <laughs> what, what, uh, what, what's in the back what of you your doing? wagon? What's in it? You got some snake oil back there? What do you got back there, bud? Oh, so you think it's snake oil, eh? Because someone was saying, I think someone has a joke that like, hey, they're like, is this guy Cosby? And that was like another. No, I, no, 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 no. Like, was like, was no, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> it was, I think it was in Chappelle's, you know, he didn't say it, but he was kind of saying it. It was Chris Rock or David Chappelle. They have kind of a joke about it, but I don't think so. No, no. He's a great guy. He's a great guy. I met him. I did. I think he's great. I think he's great. He's great. But when he starts talking that nonsense, I mean, it's just stick to comedy. I mean, he doesn't. Is it right is for? Is it right know. for me to say that, Amish? For me to say stick to comedy? It is right to say it. Because no, I, getting, okay, okay, because it's a scam. Like, I mean, it's well, we know it's a scam. Yeah, when he gets he with gets Grant Cardone it. and all these guys, I'm like, God, yeah, just this, this is not a good look. But he doesn't. He doesn't know though. It's hard to tell, dude. We have. That's why we have to educate the community. We must. Yeah, it's, the it's just anytime. Yeah. Because they're foolish and they know not what they do. And then they join up. They're like, hey, because Kevin Hart's just like, hey, man, I'm positive. Yeah, like toxic. Anytime anyone kind of starts talking about like outworking, I just outwork everybody, dude. How'd I get here? I outworked him. It's like, what? He he has a Did righteous you know? work ethic, though. He worked hard. He worked hard. Kevin Hart worked hard. A lot of comedians work hard. And they don't true. spend all their time talking about it. Oh, true. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying you can work hard. It's good to work hard. Yeah. Don't then work as hard as you worked talking about how hard you work. Like, yeah. I will admit he's got a great work ethic for talking about how much he works. They're Bro, like, you just have to put up a beach and go like, I don't live to work. I work to live. It's <laughs> two million likes. Got Cena, got Soja Boy, got Kevin Hart. Who's next? Who Who's wants next? it next? Who wants it, dude? Who wants it? Who wants it? <laughs> Who wants to tell us to get up at 6 a.m. and just... Hey, have you tried hustling lately, guys? You ever yeah, tried to hustle? Yeah, I guess he did get into that shit, eh? Kevin Hart, it is. And then The Rock kind of does it too. Bro, I just work so hard. Okay, okay. Look, everybody else, they're like at 10%. Right. I work at 110%. Kevin, that's not possible. I said 110%. It's like that. It's so nonsense. then, what do you think of McConaughey then? McConaughey's bringing the heat on the on the on the sermons. What is He's McConaughey doing? Sermons. McConaughey, he has some. Oh, well, you like, think because I'm, I'm from Texas, I just I just watch everything McConaughey does. I love McConaughey, buddy. Everyone watches what McConaughey does. Okay, okay. We I'm just all wondering. love McConaughey. Okay, go ahead. But he's putting up some motivationals, dude. He he just put up a uh, like a podcast with Jordan Peterson. Like he's he's he wants to help the community now too. But his is like he's got some. Honestly, it's like do it, but like keep it tight. Don't put up some dumbass shit. Don't put up like some weird. Meme. I feel like McConaughey would do a classy. He would sit in the Lincoln. Doing a classy. He's while he tells classy. you, you know, like. <laughs> Laugh is. I don't. Circular. I don't think what I do is work. I just go wherever the road takes me. That's something he would say. Like <laughs> just. <laughs> God is great. God is great. <laughs> Yo, somebody said Kevin Hart get, got it from The Rock ever since the Jumanji movie. You're right, dude. You're totally right. He saw The Rock, what The Rock was doing. He goes, I want to get on this like 60 million Instagram follower stuff. Right, right, right. right I got to right. start just pushing like oh. the generic work hard. Yeah. Hey, have you, know you tried happens? working hard? Yeah, dude. This is what happens when you get rich no. and then you just pay a social No, media. Kevin, I didn't think about that. Yeah, it's bullshit. It's like, yeah. you know what it's like? It's like when The Rock talks about how much fish he eats to get as big as he does. It's like, guy... We know you're juiced to the gills yeah. with steroids. I mean, sorry to bur sorry to burst your bubble and make y'all all realize that Santa Claus isn't real, but The oh, Rock doesn't look too. like that because he had a few too many cuts of chicken breast. Okay? Oh, uh oh, uh oh. He did steroids. <sighs> I mean, you just have to realize. Yeah. It's Hollywood, baby. There's it a lot of lies out there. Hollywood's the same. I mean, it's not like, yeah, Hollywood isn't the hallmark of realism. You know what I mean? But I just love when these guys try to be like, yeah, uh, I, put, I have a lot of, I work really hard. I wake up at 5 a.m. 
and then I go to the gym, and that's pretty much responsible for my success. The reason my, my veins look like small highways, yeah, that's because of uh, hard work, actually. I like to work really hard. That's what it is. Yeah. It just seems oh like everyone's gosh. making this content now. So it's like they could have just hired a social media firm, and then they just make that shit for you. They probably don't even do it. They oh, sure, just, like, dude. Like, I just don't like the dishonesty of it all. Okay, tell me what you think of this one, though. Do you remember the guy from Lord of the uh, uh, Game of Thrones, Tyrion? And he has a little motivational rip, too. It went through, it went viral on all the platforms. And he has this motivational rip where he's like, you can be an actor. 25 years, I didn't think I'd make it. And now I'm Tyrion. Whatever the fu whatever is stupid, <laughs> he has this motivational, and the music is whatever. And he's crying in it. It's like, idiot. No other actor is going to make it, stupid. It's a lottery. Yeah, you got right. Lucky. I know. Like, come I know. on. What are you thinking? Look, dude? look, just th this sums it all up. Here's yeah. here's the comedian of the decade, ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Hart for real. Buckle up. Get ready for your funny bone to be tickled. Here we go. It's the chuckle hut. Kevin Hart for real. Only way to go is up. Hashtag <laughs> live, la love, laugh. I can't read. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's what we get, ladies and gentlemen, is we get a guy up. looking upstairs. Only way to go is up. Guys. Ha! Ha! Don't got him! You, you know what's so dumb, though? What's offensive about this is you're a comedian, I'm and offended. instead of doing a joke to make me laugh, you just put a hashtag live, love, laugh. Don't tell me to laugh. Yeah. Hey, do something don't... funny, and then I'll laugh. Eat, pray, love. It's just, no, it is eat, pray, love. It's just <laughs> twist it up. Love, laugh. It's live, love, laugh. Live, love, laugh. Live, the ha hashtag live love laugh. I really stand by this one, guys. <laughs> I, it definitely wasn't a bunch of suits who came up with this one. Live love laugh. <laughs> hashtag live love laugh. Dude, it was just like 12 executives going, what's the most generic thing we could think of? Hey, Dude, I, I know. Better than this. <laughs> Eat, pray, love. No <laughs> way. We got a new one, old Kev. Go look up some stairs. Live love and laugh. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> oh, whoever got that. I, I hope that it, it's an Indian. I see like an Indian assistant on, on this. I see a team in India or a team in the makes me so turning these out. Uh, and whoever pitched live, love, sad. laugh. Kevin Hart said, yes, I'm serious as hell about my cardio, which is why I made my choice to row and go. <laughs> hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Let that one. Let that little zinger hit it. Hold on, go ahead. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> love my hydro. Oh, it's an ad. Cool. I get the job okay. done on the daily. Shout out to my hydro family. And c this is who you guys picked? Come on, dude. What are you doing? Why, dude? Why? Just work on Who's who? Like Who's looking at this and going, ha, inspired to go live you, with the, I, I'm yeah. sure I'll go with my hydro family where Kevin's going to give me a shout out. What? Guy, like hire a team and write a sitcom and just put the sitcom on Instagram. That's what you have to do, man. You know, oh. Will Smith is doing good. Will Smith is funny. On there Instagram are funny Oscar. people. Yeah. And inspirational, I'd say. Will Smith oh, here's another funny ad. Oh, gosh. Yeah, no, Kevin Hart is just fully just selling shit, I guess. Fabletics Men. Another ad! I think this is his own company ad. Fabletics Men? That's, I mean, I just kind of thought so comedians were a bit above this in a way. Like, they saw through the machine. But you yeah, kind of see that some comedians, they just didn't make it through the normal way, but they would have been businessmen if they weren't. Like, they've kind of found the business of comedy. And yeah. then they go like, hey... Which, in a way, do you respect that? I, no, actually, I don't. I just keep thinking of the look up and live, love, laugh. I can't get that out of my head. I look, will. Okay, but well, yeah, why did he make that one hashtag live, love, laugh? There was like, I thought they were all going to be hashtag live, love, laugh, but he it, just made the one. Is that his tag? But it's not on the other ones. It's like, come on, guy, make something interesting. Like Will Smith, I think, is, is cooler because he'll do a little documentary. <laughs> This is just, dude. don't go motivational, dude. It's not good. Kevin like Hart, weird. dude, full. This is full sellout time, boys. Full oh, sellout time. Dude, his every single one's an ad. Guys, <laughs> put some sketches up, too. Put what some stand-up. Just put some old stand-up. Shot oh, by, uh, okay. Why is he doing these sexy shots? Guy, don't go sexy. This is the death of a comedian.
It is. When, they started sex, when Chris D'Elia it. started working out, I said, "Where? Where's the Me Too?" No, if it, yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, I don't think so with Kevin Hart, but no, I agree. But, you know, I guess D'Elia, you could smell a little bit, a little more. He was like, he was there more, you know. Kevin Hart, no, he would never. This he would is never, so funny. He would never do that. But he is like, this is just like. See, guy. and this is the kind of funny thing is like, then he'll make kind of a joke. Hashtag little swag. I guess that's supposed to be like funny. But I've seen so many ads that I'm desensitized. What's a little, wait, how's little swag funny? What does well, that mean? I, we're, we're lowering the little... bar here. I mean, it's. Oh, so he's saying he's little because he's shorter. Yeah, little swag. It's a joke, I think. Okay. Yeah, fair. Okay. But I just. Sure. Hashtag I guess, live, I guess so. love, laugh. That's our new saying around here, guys. The drip. Hashtag live, <laughs> love, love, laugh, laugh wow, baby. Dude. All right. Like, dude, Kevin Hart fits in well with Grant Cardone. Yeah. Dude, I can't believe these two, the, the family down the street from me, they wrapped two of their cars in Grant Cardone and Kevin Hart. And it was from last year. So Why? now these two are driving around with Wealth Expo. <laughs> Buy tickets yeah. for 2019. Yeah. They're still driving it. Guys, Ugh. this is weird now. Ugh. Make it no dates or something. I I've had it. enough. I've had enough of all these motivational people, dude. I'm done with and everyone I'm else done. does too. Like, what is the real market for this? Who's like, get it? Who's going like, ha, I needed that cab. I get, no, you know what it is? It's not that there's a market. It's that like he built his market being, being like so funny in his stand up specials, specials, right? And now what he's doing is he's draining out his market value. He's cashing out. So, so when they, mm, in, in books about branding, he's cashing in. They, they basically teach you like br a brand is this ephemeral value. It's like, it's about like your, your, your flock. It's, it's really about having a flock that loves you. And if you have a good brand, you have a lot of love. But what a lot of these guys do is they build up that love and then say, let me cash out. And they don't realize that it's like, you're, you're draining it all out. It'll, it'll disappear because mm. you know, why, why would someone. It's like you're not trying, dude. Come on, you can't just put ads. Make it. Somebody effort. said Kevin Hart's undercover. He's not undercover. Undercover what? <laughs> undercover, like gonna expose these guys. He's not undercover. He really believes this stuff. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, undercover? No, I thought, I thought they were doing he's it. Like, going he's like, he's like, he's saying it ironically, dude. No, no, he's not. No, he's, no, he's not. not. He's, he's not. not. We he's know not. what ironic is. He's not. This is not ironic. This is a guy, oh, look, it's you make too much money, you get too famous, you start to take yourself seriously. We all That's thought it. you were funny, so you thought so we funny. thought you were cool, and you thought we thought you were like an icon and all this stuff, and it's like, no, we thought you were funny. And in yeah. a way, you can be an icon by being funny. Yeah, yeah. But you but can't, what you, the mistake is, they like me for how funny I am, therefore, I can just be the motivational guy now. Yeah, why? Why not? And the sexy man. Stop with the sexy man. Guy, you're five foot two. It, leave it. Hey, you don't Amish, get to have it. Let's be you honest, though. It. If you got big, you'd be smoldering, dude. No, I would not. I you wouldn't, you wouldn't go to IG and go. Here, here's the thing, dude. Is that you don't even have sex more like that. <laughs> Hit him with that. If you're low key and you don't give a shit, girls think you're way hotter. They'll have sex with you more. If you're trying to be hot all the time, it's such a turnoff, dude. My, we have we know this guy. He's a rapper, and his buddy. Every picture he takes, he does a duck face. But it's a dude, and he's tough. And he flexes, and it's like, then <laughs> it's it's too much. I said, baby, Stop. be yourself. You can't do this. No, you can't. It's it's not good. Yeah, for we should it's start a dating uh, a coaching website. You we should do, teach dude, these people. Crazy. Let's teach yeah, we got <laughs> We got yeah, yeah. Let's get into pickup artistry. That's. <laughs> It's just like, it's like, it's like, it would be so rude. It would be just so All rude. All right, guys, dude. here's Imagine. how you do it. What, that's your Tinder bio? Ha! <laughs> it's your Tinder bio, really? You no, should no, be embarrassed. No. You're going to get scammed like that. Uh <laughs> You're going to get scammed. I bet you have bots. I bet you have bots in your bio. But, but you want to get okay, those ladies, dude? Hit them with the smolder. Smolder? I feel like you have to just do cool shit. You got to be like doing so it's got to be like more original than that. I mean, you can go. Okay. Smolder does work maybe for like some people. Maybe I don't know. Smolder does work if you have no art, but yeah, if you have if a you YouTube channel page, art, or if you have dude. like a, if you have something cool to show them, they just like, like, okay. You ever see that fish on the ocean and he basically makes his house fucking sexy, right? 
And then a girl, and then a female. I have no idea what you're talking about. Stop. Okay.